Hello students, today you are going to see how to use Google Classroom for distant learning. In this video, you are going to learn how to open Google Classroom. Then you are going to see how to join the different classes using the code sent by your teacher. Then you will see how to check the assignments sent by your teacher. Finally, you are going to learn how to turn in or submit your assignments. Now we are going to see how to log in to your Google Classroom account. For that, we need to log into a Gmail account first. So let me double click on Google Chrome. Maximize the screen. In the address bar type gmail.com Press the enter key. Press it again. It will direct you to a, uh, to a place where it shows the different IDs that you have already logged in through. So I am going to use this one. You can type your Gmail ID and type your password here. And click on next. Now it is going to direct me to my inbox. And in the inbox I can see the Google Classroom code sent by my class teacher. I click on it. I can see the different codes for different classrooms. So I will explain to you what these codes are in some time. So let's see to open the Google Classroom account, click on this waffle button, scroll down, click on classroom. And here you are, this is your Google Classroom dashboard. So in this dashboard, you will see the different classrooms that you are going to join to. So since you have not joined any, you are not able to see any class over here. Let's join to our first class. Let me click on this plus. Click on join class. My first class will be the class teacher's class. So I will click on the codes again. My mail. Your class teacher's announcement class is over here. I will select this. I will type my code over here or you can either paste it. It's joining the class. Now if you see my tab has changed. It has directly taken me inside the classroom. Class teacher announcement classroom. Let's see what is the announcement here. So the announcement says good morning everyone hope you have a great day. And there is a message from the teacher teacher's message. I will click on this. So there is a PowerPoint presentation. PPTX means PowerPoint presentation. So how do I open this PowerPoint presentation? For that you need to click on this button at the corner, the three dots. You can open the PowerPoint this way. You can click on new window. It will direct me to the next tab and here you can you get the download button. And click on this download button the PowerPoint presentation will be downloaded to your computer it is over here so once finished downloading you can click on it it's going to open it's going to look like this so this is my presentation you can click on full screen mode and you can go through all the present uh, through the entire presentation you can check in this presentation you will also find the time schedule for the entire day. Let me minimize the screen. Let me go back to my Google Classroom. Now I can close this tab. But this is my class teacher announcement. I should not close this. I need to go back. Click on back. And this I am back to my screen again. Class teacher's announcement. Now, I want to go to my dashboard and check my other classes. So, for that, you can click on these three lines. Click over here. Here, you can see the classes that you are enrolled to. Enrolled means joined to. That is class teacher's announcement. I want to join other classes too. So, I can click on this classes. I am back to my dashboard again. I will click on plus join class. I will go back to my Gmail account and check for the next code. Well, for example, I want to join an English class. I'll double click, I'll select this code, copy it and paste it away here. Click on join. 
joining it. So now this is the English class. This is of some other grade, but this is just a demo video, so it's okay. So Miss Dellis has posted a new assignment to read the passage and answer the given question. Now this is an assignment. This is not just a post, it is an assignment because it says a new assignment. To check the assignment, you can either click on it, okay, directly like this. You can click on it and check the assignment this way or you can go back, click on back. You can click on your classwork and here you can leave the classwork. Okay, you can click on it, you have the assignment here. Alright, I will click on it. View assignment looks like this. And here, just to try, I've already submitted it. I'll remove it, I'll unsubmit it. So, when you open it, it looks like this. You can click on the PowerPoint, you can check the PowerPoint just the way I had told you before. You can download the PowerPoint, you can go through it. And there is a Google form attached with it. You can directly click on this Google form. It will direct you to the next step where you can answer all the questions. And finally submit and get your points. Alright, once you've submitted, the teacher gets the message. And also once you complete the entire assignment given over here, you can click on mark as done. Okay, click on mark as done. So now the teacher gets the message that you have completed the assignment. Okay, turned in. You have turned in and you have submitted. You can also send a private comment over here. See, saying thanks. You can type over here and send a comment. And the teacher can view the comment and she will reply back to you. Either you don't understand the assignment, you can type here, teacher. Please explain the assignment you can type this message and you can send it to her and she will be able to reply to you over here now let me go back to my dashboard how do I go back to my dashboard now yes you're right you need to click on this these bars you can click on it click on class you're back to your dashboard similarly you can add many more classes by clicking on plus and clicking on join and add the code all right i hope you have understood all the points that i've covered you have understood how to open the google classroom you have understood how to join the different classes how to submit your work right hope you have a great day and do stay healthy thank you